All right, hey, what's up everybody? Brian here with the Holy Roller playing craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. And today we're gonna roll out a strategy called the Fib Fab Five. It's all about the five, watch this, here we go. Welcome to the Holy Roller where it's all about playing craps, earning free cruises, and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching and now let's get rolling. All right, so if you've been watching any of my other videos, we've been talking about the Fibonacci sequence rather than a martingale. A martingale is just doubling your bet whenever you lose. A lot of times people do it in the field and whenever they lose, they just double their bet until they finally win. And the only difference is they're winning that $10 that they lost on their first bet. Let me just spare you some time and not talk about the martingale. Let's talk about the Fibonacci. The way the Fibonacci works is, and this is a betting sequence, by the way, it's, it's usually uh, used in, uh, I mean, Fibonacci, um, is used in uh, stock market, other trading, or even uh, sports betting. And uh, I think people use it in um, like roulette and craps. The problem is people use it on even money bets. So even money bets don't work for, in my opinion, even money bets don't work for uh, Martingale or Fibonacci. So the way it's going to work is, let's say we're on a $10 table. We start with $10. If you lose that, you take the previous bet, which was zero, right? I'm going to just lay everything out right here. You take the previous bet was zero, and then you add the last two previous bets. So the second one would be another $10. So the next one you would do is you would add this, these two bets, which is 20. And now you have that. Now, if you lose that bet, this is losing one, two, three times in a row. Then you would take your 20 plus 10, right? Which is 30. So you would take and you'd have a $30 bet. Then after that, you would take your 30 plus your 20 and have a $50 bet. Then after that, you would have an $80 bet, right? Because you add the 30 plus the 50 and you'd have an $80 bet. Okay, now this is if you lose one, two, three, four, five, six times in a row. And now what I mean by not playing with even money bet, that's why we're gonna go after the five. So Fibonacci and the fabulous five, okay? So that's why this is called Fib Fab Five. All right, so the next, and we're gonna roll it out in just a second. So the next one you would have to, you would have to add these. And so pretty much if you take this, it is, look, one, two, three, four, five green units right? And a red, right? So that is 130. Okay. And then the next one is you're going to add these two. So now you're at $210. Okay. Now with any progression system uh, going up, okay, you have to think about the table minimum. So on Royal Caribbean, the most, the most uh, table minimums I see are $500. So you can bet $500 on uh, five. So we wouldn't be able to go up above 500, but let's say we do this and this is 130 plus 210. So that's $340. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're doing here is we're just kind of seeing what our sequence would be as far as what our bet size would be. Okay, so there's, 340. Now, if we get here, see it's $550. So this would be probably as high as we would go. So this means you have to lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times in a row, which can happen. But when you win, uh, you go down two levels. So if we got to this level and we won, then we'd go down to this level. If we won again, we'd go to this level. If we lose, then we go back up to this level. If we win, we go to this level. So it's pretty much, the reason why I lay it out like this is because now, let's see what our bankroll would be if we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different levels or to the table max, which this is only 340, so it's not necessarily table max. Why don't we just, if you really wanted to add 500, we can add an extra 500 because that would be the table max. So this would be our, uh, what would be called our starting bankroll if we're going to play the Fib Fab Five. Now you might say, wow, that's a lot of money. Well, you might not even get to this part. Let's roll it out and see, but let's count it up and see where we're at. So, and actually I'm going to try to keep it, 
I'm gonna keep it uh, where it needs to be. Keep it like keep these in stacks so that we could just grab them and bet them if we need to. But it is 1,000 here, 1,100. Actually, let me do this and pull them away just to make it a little bit easier. So there's 200. Uh, one okay, so 1,100 and 1,200. And I mean, let's say you have to have $1,500 for this strategy. Not too bad. Um, so we're just going to say we have to have $1,500. But what we're going to do is we're going to put all these. I'm going to just put them right down here just so that we could keep track of where we are. And this is how you'd probably put it in your bankroll. You'd probably separate these a little bit to have them in your bankroll. Okay. So with all of that, this is, will we ever get to the max bet? I don't know. But now... Let's say we have this all in our rack, just separated. And what we're gonna do is we're going to start with a $10 bet. Now, when you do this, you're betting the five against the seven. So the point really wouldn't matter because you would never want to be off on your bets. Meaning that you would always want your bets working because you're playing the five against the seven. And the reason why is because say you uh, say right now you're playing the five and something hits and say the points a nine and then the nine hits and the puck goes off then the five hits but if it's off that's going to totally mess up your betting strategy because it's going to hit but you won't get paid so always make sure you're working so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just put the puck on and we're not going to worry about what the puck is we're just or what the point is and what the puck, you know, the puck will move. But we're just going to leave it there, and we're just going to play the five against the seven, okay? And uh, we'll just do that all the time, okay? So here we go. Let's see. We'll have a come out. Our first bet is $10. So let's see. And it comes out as a five. So that one pays 14 So what we'll do is we'll actually just leave it uh, right here. I don't know if you could see that. I know it's kind of lower part of the screen, but we're going to put our winnings right there. And uh, so, yes, the point would be a five, but we're still going to, we're just going to roll that until a, a seven comes. Okay. So here we go. And there it is. Okay. So the seven came. Now we lost this, but we actually did win it. Okay. So now you have to decide, um, are, do you want to start the progression to go to the next level? I would say no because you won the first bet, so stay up with that. Now, we lost this, so what I mean is you stay up with that, meaning we're only up $4, okay? So here we go. Now we're going to do it again, and we're just going to have it working all the time. There's a 5, okay? So that's another 14. We're going to do 15 for 1 on this. We'll pay 1 to get 15. Let's put this back, and then we could see where we're at. We're up $8 with that bet out there. Okay, here we go. And it's a four. And it's a three. And it's an eight. And it's a six. That's an 11, but it was barely a roll. <laughs> here we go. And it's a seven. All right, so seven out, and we're there. And so now... Being that we're, we have our money back, we're still at that level. So the idea is this is how you just play. You play one number and you just play it. Now you could play the four or the nine um, or the 10, uh, four, five, nine, or 10. I think with the proper bets on the six and eight, um, I think it would probably, you'll get a lot of, it, it would be, it'd be a lot more uh, money you know, as far as dollar bills and stuff because it goes in, in 12. So, you know, 12, uh, 18, 24 you couldn't go up by five units okay so uh here we go now we're still playing here here's the yo and uh there is a five right off now i don't know if you believe me but that was a five all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one for 15 again okay we'll put that back and now we're up by 12 dollars. okay um just keeping track here all right and, and you might say, will you ever get to that max? Um, I don't know. I, I've, there's a seven. Um, so that's the thing. So a seven came, right? So we lost this. And we, we actually lost uh, $10 uh, of our profit because that was profit money. So we go back up for 10 But look, we're still at this first level. We still have our $12. 
um, and we're, we would be up two dollars if we left this. So if you want to be at a game, watch a game, um, and learn and stuff, and just bet one number, I would always recommend this is the way you should bet one number. Now, a lot of times people say, "Well, no, I, if I if I bet ten dollars, and I have ten shooters, if you're going through ten shooters." You, you always want to, whatever your strategy is, so if you are going to do a $10 bet on every shooter, you're going to want to have uh, 10 times your bet, okay? So that's $100, right? So this is a $1,500 bankroll. This, if you just do this, you can't really go up if you had $100. You could, you could just do 10 $10 bets. And sometimes people will say, well, I want to do a 5, 6, 8, and 9, $44. Well, if you're going to do that, then you're going to need $440 if you're not going to do any kind of laddering or the Fibonacci. So again, we're just doing the Fibonacci sequence here. There's a six. And the, the idea is, so let's just say we're, we're doing this and we're just waiting for the five. It's five against seven, right? And there's a six. And so you pretty much, I mean, you could be missing a lot of money. I think that's the part that a lot of people have a hard time with just betting one number. You're just, you're seeing all the other numbers, right? But the one that you, uh, the one that you chose. All right. So there's a seven. So we lost that. And now, um, let's say, let's say we lock up some profit. So we're going to lock up this $12 and let's just go to the next level. Okay. So we're at this next level. Okay which is the same thing, $10, okay? So being that that's the next level, let's see if we can get a five here. There's a 10. And again, we're not really worrying about the, what the point is because we're just rolling before a five. There's a five right there. So let's throw in $1 for 15, okay? And let's go ahead and mark that up. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna put it back here. Um, and I, I know it's kind of off screen there. There's a seven. So. And, and so what we're doing here is what we're going to do is we're now we're going to go up because we lost these two. Even though we got paid, we still lost these two. So we're going to go up to $20, okay? And you can see if I, if I was just going off of payments, I could just sit here on this low end all day long. Now you might say, well, if you could sit there on the low end all day long, why would you need to go to the top end? Why would you need this much money? Believe me, eventually <laughs> you'll need it because... Uh, sometimes the sevens just come out a lot <laughs> just like that. All right. So there goes 20 down, right? So now we're going to go to the next level where we have our 10 and our 20, which is 30. So now we're going to go to the $30 level. Okay. So here we go. And it's a five and it's a, f oh, sorry, that was a four. This is a five. <laughs> okay. So we hit that at that level. So that is uh, what is that? That is, uh, the 30, uh, pays, uh, so 25 pays 35 and five pays seven. So it is, uh, 42. Okay. So now if we pull this back, right, we would put that back in its spot because it hit right when it hits, you put it back. Then, uh, let's break this down and we'll get it into nickels so we can see what it looks like. So remember that $20 we lost, the $20 level? Then we go to the 10 level, and so we're back where we have everything back, and then we could put this in our win column. You might say, that's just $2. But because we're at this level, we go down two levels, which is back to the $10. So let, let's put it out as this level, just like that, and let's keep going. Here we go. There's a six, nine, four, another six. I might have to speed this up. There's a five. Okay, so another 15 for one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that in our win column. Here we go. Another five. Another 15 for one. Let's put that in our win column. So there's another 15. And there's an 11. <laughs> no roll. Seven. All right. So because we're at the second level, we're just going to put it aside. 
and then we're going to go up to this next level. Okay, now we don't really need to look at all the profit we have. We have a lot of profit just playing the five against the seven. Now you might say uh, that those are long rolls, and and look, we could just put these. Even if we put all the money that's out there and put these back, we're still up twenty six dollars. Okay, twenty six dollars. All right. That's without even counting this or uh, that's out there. That's that's putting everything back. All right. So you could see that this you could play. That was a nine. You could play a long time with this strategy. Um, and so the, the idea is, uh, like I said, do you really need this? So uh, it's just fun. I mean, being at the crafts table and you might say, Brian, I know your big thing is getting comp value. You wouldn't be getting a lot of comp value at uh, just uh, ten dollars or twenty dollars, whatever your bet is. Uh, you wouldn't get a lot of a lot of points for a free cruise, right? But say say you're like you know maybe maybe there's been a lot of fives rolling, and because a lot of fives are rolling, you're like I'm gonna do the fib fab five, or maybe you pick the nine. You know, there's a five right there. If, if, this, if this was a system on the nine, I would call it like nine to shine or something like that. All right, so there is 20 actually hit before seven. So with that, 20 pays 28. So if it, if it pays 28, then you go back down to 10, right? So we're going to go back down to 10. We're going to put all this in our win column. And so, again, you might be saying, Brian, look, you have over, look, I mean, what do we have? We have over $50 worth of profit here. Um, so $63, $64 of profit right there. Now, you might say, do I, do, do I just keep going? Do I just keep going? What about this? Just Fib Fab 5, it builds a bankroll. You have $64. Pull this down. And you have, you actually have $74. I mean, you could say once I win enough doing the Fib Fab Five, $64, I'm going to go 64 across and then just collect, collect, collect. If I lose it, it doesn't matter. I'll just go back to the Fib Fab Five. So the Fib Fab Five could build a bankroll for you until you have enough to go across however you want to do. So, so say you want to, say you want to make enough so that you can go 160 across or something like that. Just keep playing this until uh, it gets to the place where, uh, where you're ready to play. Now you might say, I just don't have the patience for this. <laughs> can we go to $50? And if you want, because remember we're at, we're at uh, you know, $64. Say you wanted to go up to this level and say you want to go to the $50 level. Let's do it, let's go to the $50 level. See if we can hit it, okay? Um, and then, uh, and then if you do hit it at this level, then you would just go down to the twenty dollar level where we were, even though we hit it at the twenty dollar level. But uh, there's a three, and there's a six, and you know I will say there's another six. I will say that these seem to be long rolls. There it is. I knew there would be a seven coming sooner or later. These seem to be long rolls. Okay, so we're down 50 right here, right? We're just going to put that aside, and now we're going to 80 because it is the last two bets, which I know we didn't get there, but I just want to show you getting up at the higher level. All right, so now we're at the higher level, and we are uh, $80, okay? $80. Fibonacci on the five. There's a six, right? Here we go. There's a nine. And there's the five. All right, so now that we got the five, so that pays 105. Um, let's pay it in green, okay? So, sorry, 105, 105 plus, plus seven is 112. So it pays 112, okay? So, so now we're gonna pull this back. We're gonna put 50 back. And look, we're going down to, from, from, the, from this level, we're going down to the 30 level. Let's just take it out of here and go to the 30 level, we can rack 32 into our, into our pile here. So again, like I said, uh, it's just one of those things where I think on other, I don't know, like I, I'm just randomly throwing these dice, by the way, UC, and uh, there it is. There should be more sevens, and 
for this to be losing, okay? So, so that loss at the 30 level, now we go back up to the 50 level, okay? And so basically, I would just, um, I've done this system, and Amber has done this system, but she did it on the nine. I told her, it's called nine to shine, Amber. And she's like, okay, nine to shine. But she got up to the 50 level, and she got scared, and she said, Brian, I'm scared. And uh, <laughs> there's a five. The, the thing about it is she had her bets off when the, when the come out rolls. She didn't tell them to have it working. And there was like two or three times when she was on the nine that it was a come out nine and she needed another nine to be able to get paid. And I said, Amber, you're supposed to be working. And there was like two or three times where the nine came. All right. Uh, there is a 70. Okay. 50 pays 70. All right. So there's 70. Let's put this 50 back. You go back down to $20, and then you put $50 in your win pile. Now, look at this. This is all winnings right here, by the way. I mean, it's over $100. And, but, but again, uh, like I said, I, I would anticipate there to be more sevens. Um, and so you can roll this out on your own and see where it might be uh, for you. Uh, but this is 100 and $56. We're at $156, $176 uh, total profit right now, and we went down to the 20 level. So like I said, you might not ever get to this level, but when you lose on the way up, uh, and then you ladder down by two levels every time, that's where you make a lot of money back, but you just kind of would just jump around. And that's why it's important to kind of have all of your bankroll like separated in your bet sizes. Um, and so we could have done it for, I said 1500, we never even got close to this. We could have done it for a thousand. If you have a thousand dollars, do this and you'll, you you will not get to 500, but the, you'll have enough in case you have to get to, uh, what was that? 340, you know? Um, so this is uh, something to think about. Now say, say we're at this level, we were at one, 170. Now, because we're at 170 profit, we can just say, hey, let's do 160 across and then just go for it, you know, and do another system uh, where you collect or press and collect. And if you lose it, no big deal. Now, this everything that I did with this video right now, uh, because I was rolling a lot faster, if there was payouts and everything, that would have been about an hour. So you would have made about $170 in one hour. Um, and you probably, I mean, where did we get? We got to the 80. We never really even went higher than that. And I jumped up, but like I said, I would anticipate some more sevens coming. So let's do this just for fun. Let's go up to the max. There's no place to go from there. And, uh, and there is the table, the table max is 500. Let's just see just for fun. Can we get, um, can we get a five before a seven? Let's see what happens. There it is. We got it. So 500 pays 700. Now you might say, Brian, I like that one better. Just start with 500. It pays 700. Now I can go back down and I could play this $700 at a, you know, 44 across or whatever, you know, however you want to do it, it's fine. But definitely we made a lot of money on this video. And of course we, that was what do you call it? Just a roll of the dice, right? Um, like I said, anticipate a lot more sevens when you play this. But thanks for watching. The Fib Fab Five, everyone. Let it build your bankroll and then play with the winnings. <laughs> All right. Hope to hope you enjoyed it. Watch this video. If you, if, you, if you haven't subscribed, please consider becoming a subscriber. I would really appreciate it. And I hope to see you cruising and rolling on a craps table soon. See ya.